Okay, so this is the last video of this series on video lectures on the inverse Laplace transform. And I will try to explain how to use the Laplace transform and its inverse to solve initial value problems. Let me remind you that an initial value problem is a differential equation accompanied by some initial conditions. So for example, a0x plus a1x dot plus etc. plus some other derivatives of x is equal to a linear combination of u and its derivatives. And we also have some initial conditions. For example, the initial position x at 0 is x0, the initial velocity x dot at time 0 is equal to some x dot 0, some value x dot 0, and so on and so forth. This is the general formulation of an initial value problem, but let's have a look at a few simpler and more concise examples. We may have that x plus x dot is equal to u, given that x at time 0 is equal to 2. This is an initial value problem. And the question is, what is a function x of t that satisfies these conditions? Or we can have x plus x dot plus 5 x double dot is equal to 2 times u plus u dot with these given initial conditions on x, on x dot and on u. Let's see how to solve initial value problems using the Laplace transform. So we start in the time domain with the differential equation. We would like to have the solution again in the time domain. So we're looking for a function x of t. But instead of going that direction that is more difficult, we apply the Laplace transform on the differential equation. And we know that the Laplace transform annihilates derivatives. It turns derivatives into multiplication by s. So the differential equation becomes a simple algebraic equation in the s domain. Now, once we are there in the s domain, we can solve for x of s. This is trivial. Typically, this is absolutely very easy to solve for x of s. And we apply the inverse Laplace transform to obtain the solution. And it's very simple. Let's have a look at uh, this initial value problem. So x dot is equal to x with x at 0 is equal to 1. The first step is to apply the Laplace transform. So the Laplace of x dot is sx minus x at 0. And we apply it on the right hand side, of course, which is x uppercase. Then we solve for x uppercase. So we move things on the left hand side and the right hand side and so on and we have that x of s is 1 over s minus 1. We apply the inverse Laplace transform on this expression, and we have that x of t is exponential of t defined for uh, non-negative times. Here is a, another example with a second order derivative, but absolutely nothing changes. So uh, have a look here. We have x double dot plus 2x dot plus 5x is equal to u and x at 0 is 0, x dot at 0 is 0. We need two initial conditions because x appears in, in the differential equation um, in the form of x double dot. Let's assume that we want to see what happens if we apply to the system the input signal u of t is equal to h1 of t, so heaviside function with parameter 1. The procedure is the same. So firstly, we apply the Laplace transform on both sides of the differential equation. And we have s squared x plus 2sx plus 5x is equal to the Laplace transform of the Heavy side with parameter 1, which is e to the minus s over s. And then we solve for x. This is very simple. Okay, We just divide by s squared plus 2s plus 5. And this is the expression x of s in the s domain. Now we apply the inverse Laplace transform, you know how to do that, and we obtain the solution in the time domain, which is given by 1 fifth times this parenthesis times h1 of t. And this is defined for non-negative times t. So you see by applying the Laplace transform and then the inverse, we can solve initial value problems.
yet another uh, problem we have here. So we want to solve this now, but we want to solve it for any input u, not a particular one. Can we obtain a solution here in terms of any function u? So let's see, let's have a look at the problem. We have x double dot plus 3x plus 2 times x is equal to u. And we're given the initial conditions, x at 0 is 0, x dot at 0 is again 0. We apply the Laplace transform on both sides of the differential equation, and we have s squared x plus 3sx plus 2x is equal to u. Okay, that's very simple. This happens because, for example, what is the Laplace transform of uh, x dot? It is sx minus x at 0, but x at 0 is 0 in this example. Next, we need to solve for x uppercase, so we solve for x uppercase. Of course, we have u uppercase there. And now we can apply the convolution theorem. We can see this as a product of u with 1 over s squared plus 3s plus 2. And once we do that, we can apply the inverse Laplace transform on this first function is equal to exponential of minus t minus exponential of minus 2t, convolution with u. And that's the result. We'll leave it like that. There is nothing more we can do. But this is the solution it is. It is in fact a solution that can accommodate any input signal u. So that is how you can apply the Laplace transform and its inverse to solve initial value problems.